Hey folks, it's Jim from Slick Audio, video number two for the day. Um, two in a row, go figure. Uh, there's a question that we had, question concerns. Why do some people put isolation pads or pads, uh, stands as they're calling them, on the, underneath their monitors and some put them right on their desk? Uh, the whole purpose of this is to decouple the speaker from the hard surface. Um, so, these are made by RLX called Mill Pads. They're soft foam, as you know, you probably can or cannot see me pushing down on there. Um, obviously, I need mine angled down anyway, so I have some extra foam in there. But nonetheless, it is always, always a good idea to to decouple the speaker from the surface. So, yes, some people put them right on and... Uh, not recommended in my opinion um you know if you even saw my desk with my little a3 x's uh they're they're i have pads under them too so uh, so again it's a decoupling uh, of the sound uh, mostly the bass um you know you don't want you know these speakers cranky start to bring the volume up a little bit and all of a sudden stuff in your desk starts rattling and carrying on and vibrating that that affects the the entire sound you don't you do, we don't want to hear we spend a lot of money on monitors and we don't want to be hearing the desk you know and that they don't spend a lot of money on the desk but it's not meant to reproduce sound it's meant to hold the shit that reproduces sound so that is the one and only purpose of these things uh, obviously for angle as well but its purpose is to decouple the sound from vibrating through to the desk and the desk making noise that simple it's an easy one that's all I got. Oh, there's my Toto bobbleheads. Woo! And all the dust underneath it. Cheers, guys. Be good.